Hey there, Sharon Burn Nelson here. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whenever you happen to be seeing my face or listening to this podcast. Today we're talking about PG, which stands for physical growth in the Let's Grow Annual Challenge. We are talking about our physical growth this month. We're working on all different topics with respect to our physical growth. We're going through our SOAP framework, which we just did last week, about a week ago. And then at the end of the month, at the end of every month, we're going through our seven-step growing process to help us to enhance and work on that particular area or aspect of the life framework that I've used for since the 1980s, a seven-part life framework. And then I added two more uh, during the pandemic. I added two more, and I got some coaching in 2021 in two different areas, communication and confidence. And I added those to my life framework because I think they're foundational skills that we all need to continually improve and work on in order to create the lives that we want. So this month, our challenge, Let's Grow Annual Challenge, we're doing one thing every day to grow, is focusing on physical, our physical environment, our physical bodies, our physical health, our nutrition, our supplements. And today's topic is supplements. So I shared what I do and I talked about what I do to supplement the things that I consume, to work on different areas and aspects of my life and my physical well-being. If I need more energy, guess what? I drink a little cup of caffeine every morning. This is my grandmother cup uh, from Japan. I, my sister brought it back from their trip to Japan. When my nephew was born, she went to Japan because her son and daughter-in-law were stationed there in the military. So we talked about different supplements. I shared exactly what I do and how I use myself as my own science experiment because nobody is going to figure out what's going on with me and my physical being and my health and my body except me, right? We can get experts to help us like doctors and nutritionists and dietitians and physical uh, personal trainers and other experts, but we're the ones that actually have to do it. I mean, uh, my... I go to my mom's acupuncturist. I'm visiting my mom right now. She's having some health challenges. So she does supplements just like everybody else. And I do as well. And I shared how uh, I, I map them out. I lay them. I track them. I, I literally use myself as a science experiment because I need to know how different things impact me. And over time, different things will impact us differently. When I was younger, I did all kinds of things supplement wise and exercise and, and things that I ate and that that I thought were good for my heart. And it turns out that many of them were not. I had another health challenge then down the road because the things that I was doing that I thought were good for my heart, it turns out they were good for my heart, most people's hearts, but not everybody, right? So a lot of the things that I was doing was contraindicative for me personally, although they'd be good for a lot of people that have heart challenges. I also ran into a, a time where I had to do something about my blood pressure. Or I was going to have to go on some pharmaceutical for the rest of my life. And I'm like, yeah, that's not going to happen. So I had to make some lifestyle changes to impact me physically as well as supplement changes to impact me physically and make sure that I didn't have to take another medicine for the rest of my life. So talking about that today for... Supersize Your Business, we talked about the power of video marketing to enhance your brand and the impact it has on our brands for growing and building and supersizing our business. And I shared some of my thoughts on that. Uh, traveling for a little bit here again, if I can help you anyway, hit me up and ask it. It actually means I have more free time to help when I'm traveling than when I'm not. I mean, sometimes I'm not available because I'm, I'm busy doing something important and I will always answer questions, but if I'm in the middle of a doctor appointment or something, I'm not going to pick up my boxer. Again, the best way to get me, if you really want to contact me and ask me a question, is via Voxer, V-O-X-E-R. It's an app that you can put on your phone or your computer. It's a walkie-talkie app. So I love it because you push a button, you ask your question, you know, say, hey, this is so-and-so, this is my question. And then I push the button and respond and, and give you my answer. And if I don't know the answer, guess what? I'm like, I don't know the answer, but here's who you should contact. I already gave them your information because they can help you, right? Or this organization can help you, or this is what I've done with that in the past. Anyway, that's all I've got today. If I can help in any way, please ask. Otherwise, have a fantastic day. And I'll, of course, be with you tomorrow.